if you're able to. Because I just visited my buddy. We used to ride jeeps across the old Pinnacle Peak, across from Rawhide, the old Rawhide. During the monsoons, we'd get our jeeps and go mud walking over there. John Epley. Why did I shout? Because he suffered, suffering his pancreas is quitting on him. And I visited the hospital. Scottsdale North. He's got a tube sticking in his lungs. And it's coming out of the poison. It's treating the poison that's in his body. Sometimes you need to walk into a room and change the environment. Sometimes you need to walk in the room and change the atmosphere of the room. Sometimes you can tell your children, hey, Johnny, let's not do that right now. Put the gun down. <laughs> and sometimes you can say, Johnny, now. Do I got any mamas in here? I don't, I don't say mothers. I didn't say mothers. I said moms, what we say in Georgia. Well, I do declare. Sometimes you need to raise your voice and you want to know why? It's sometimes some things are shouting at you and you need to shout those things down. It's not about a denominational thing. It's about taking authority over who you are. That's all it is. This morning you might have been invited to church. And God bless you. Thank you for coming. If I lived in Scottsdale, I'd come to this church. Heck, if I lived in San Diego, I'd come to this church. This place is awesome. When you're walking through and it's not over season in your life, you need Jesus to move in your family. You might not have a broken neck, but you might have a broken heart this morning. Your finances might have been broken. I was paying over $25,000 a month for over a year on homes that we own in this economy. I too went through it with my family. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to the IRS. I know what some of you walk through because we walk through it ourselves. But only by the grace of God and lifting our voice and lifting our hands and showing you the ministries like this one. I believe we activated something beyond our own strength and our own financial needs. I believe we activated heaven. This morning, you need God to move in your life. It might be your children, it might be your company, whatever it is. Just raise your hand. I just want to pray for you. Where you are. We got another service that's going to come in here. Come on, let's look at this. It's half the church. You need God to move. And you're not ashamed to lift your hand. But God, I need you. I need you to move. Please put your hand down. This morning, you want to make a personal commitment to Jesus Christ. You say, Ricardo, I want you to pray for me to become a Christian. I want this thing that you guys have on this platform. I want what pastor was talking about. You want to make a decision to follow Jesus. We're not going to embarrass you. I just want you to lift your hand and wait. Just lift your hand up. You want Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Lift your hand up. See that? Yep. Come on, don't be together. I see that. If you want Jesus, if you're just hallelujah Jesus, let's put that hand down. But if you want Jesus, come on, wave it at me. I see that hand. Wave it at me. Look at this. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. All right. I didn't say it. Awesome. You need God to move in your life. Lift your hands up. I'm going to ask Pastor to come and pray and close out this service. I've taken up too much time. But I didn't come here to tell you what you wanted here. I came here to tell you what God told me to tell you. I'm going to pray for you. And you pray for me. Amen. Amen. Who's Pastor? Pastor. He's hiding behind your 6 5 ness right here. <laughs> well, would you bow your heads with me? Let's pray. God, we thank you for today. Lord, what a great, refreshing uh, sprint, God, to have in town with Ricardo. And, and Lord, first of all, God, I just pray a, a blessing on everybody that's here today. Lord, we, uh, we come... To, to, to church, God, looking for you to make a difference in our lives. God, we come to church that you would make an impact in our lives. And God, today, Lord, I pray for each and every person today that said, I want, I want to become a Christian. I need Jesus in my life. And, and, and I just pray that God, as they begin this walk, Lord, that it, they are able to get plugged in. God, plugged into the church, plugged into the, the new friends and family members, God, the impact family. God, that we walk together. And Lord, I also pray for those that say, man, I need, I need a miracle in my life. I need God to do what God does. Lord, would you be with them today? God, that you are in the miracle business. God, that you specialize in the impossible. Lord, you specialize in the impossible. God, impossible is nothing to you. And God, we claim God, victory in our lives right now. God, we, we ask that you would do what you do. God, we ask that you would create a miracle. God, that, that our backs are against the wall and learn that you would make a way where there seems to be no way. 
And God, that when it's all said and done, when, when, when we've walked through the valley, we will look back and our trial will turn to triumph. Our test will turn into a testimony. God, our mess into a message. God, that, that only God could have done that. Only God could have done that. Only God. Everybody say, only God. Only God. Only God. Say it one more time. Only God. Only God could have done that. Lord, the word of God says that you're a, a friend that sticks closer than a brother. God, that, that you will never leave us. You'll never forsake us. God, we might be lonely, but we're never alone. God, the, the, the Bible declares that your peace would give us so much comfort. God, no matter what storm we're going through. God, no matter how hard the wind blows, no matter what's falling down on us. God, the Bible says that your peace will so surpass all understanding. God, that would guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Lord, the Bible says in Proverbs 3, it says that we lean not on our own understanding. God, we, we look to you. God, we trust you. God, we put our eyes and our focus on you. God, whatever the outcome, we cling to you. God, whatever the outcome, the outcome is for you. Lord, we love you very much today. We pray this in Jesus' name. We all say Amen. How about a round of applause?